Since it started in the mid-1990s, the Ultimate Fighting Championship has put on about 200 matches. But in communities across the nation, amateur versions of this brutal form of entertainment take place all the time. As you watch, ask yourself this question. Would any of this exist if there weren't so many of us willing to take a beating and so many more willing to watch? It's Saturday night at South Plainfield High School in New Jersey, but it could be any neighborhood in America. Amateur ultimate fighters battle only for glory. Local guys with normal day jobs become warriors. You know, it's like it's, you're being thrown to the lions. Well, you learn from that, and maybe you have a couple of bruises, maybe you're cut up a little bit. For these amateurs, there's no payday, no fame, just the love of combat. They follow the same rules as their professional counterparts. But these matches are not regulated by any state agency, and the competition is much more raw. Love it, baby, love it, baby! Come on. 27-year-old Eddie Rolon holds the regional heavyweight title. I don't fear injury. I, you know, what worse it ha gets happened, I, I get knocked out. I, uh, I get submitted. So what? I, you know, I, I live to fight another day, and you know, I continue doing what I love. I wish he could be like other husbands and just do their jobs and go home. But uh, I see how much he enjoys it and it keeps in shape. Lost a lot of weight doing it, so it, it winds up being better for all of us. Roland says the sport has given him confidence and a better grip on life. It uh, alleviates stress. It uh, makes me a better father, a better uh, husband, because, you know, I can, I can do that, get, get it all out of my system, whatever bothers me at work. During the day, Eddie works for the local cable company, checking wires and climbing poles. At nights, he runs training sessions for hungry fighters who want to learn. Like a diamond going out straight. This uh, makes me uncomfortable. My head's up in the air, makes it hard for me to breathe. <laughs> My sport is safe. It's safer than boxing. It's safer than high school football. It's uh, a, lo a lot of fun. It has honor in it. I don't, I don't meet too many guys that do well at this that don't have some kind of honor. On this night, more than 30 grapplers, kickboxers, and martial arts enthusiasts show up. 192. They engage in friendly banter, weigh in, and prepare to go head-to-head -head with their training partners and friends who make up this tight-knit fraternity. Hi, ringside or general? The fans pay $25 for the chance to see some good competition and maybe a little blood. It gives us an outing like, you know, family type thing. It's better than being on the streets. You know what I mean? Hanging around doing nothing. Get your legs under there! The combatants give the fans their money's worth. One hopeful is choked into unconsciousness. His air supply is cut off, and he passes out. I got him. Sit up. Sit up. Watch it, watch it. Move back. Move back. Move back. Good job. Stand up. He's okay for now, though he's not quite sure what happened. Ready? Well, let's go. Another fight pits 34-year-old fitness trainer Mark Dapolito, seen here in the black trunks, against an unknown from Kentucky. It's a no-holds-barred fight. No eye-gouging, head-botting on the ground, or groin punches, but basically, anything goes. Mark, he's rolling to his stomach! Mark, choke! Stop, stop, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's it. His opponent is clearly incapable of defending himself. Mark says he didn't want to hurt him, he just wanted to win. You just have to do what you have to do to do the job to do it right, you know. Uh, it's a sport like soccer, you know. If you don't score a goal, you don't win. You know, you have to, you have to do what you have to do to win the sport. In the main event, Eddie Rolon faces a championship challenge from Thomas Larison. Fight! Also known as Psycho Eyes. Larison has at least 40 pounds on Eddie and seems unbeatable. Things don't go well at first. Larison actually chokes Eddie with his own arm, cutting off his blood and air supply. But Eddie's patient. In a dramatic move, he takes advantage when Larison crosses his legs. Eddie applies pressure to his foot. If Larison doesn't tap out, his foot will break. My plan was 
wanted to have him dominate me the entire fight, but he did a good job. Uh, he had better strikes than I had, faster than I was, he's definitely stronger than I was. It was a technique that killed him. He crossed his legs to get better leverage for a choke. If you cross the legs on the inside, you can wrap your legs above, push your pelvis forward, and work the ankles against each other. It was a little scary, but I, I, had, I didn't think he was going to get him in the end. I was watching your first fight and I had all kinds of a game plan. Yeah. And it didn't work at all. No. <laughs> you, you rung my bell twice. Eddie Rolon has retained his title and his devotion to the sport. If I got really hurt in there, I'd be doing something I love. It's, you know, the, the human condition to, to, uh, to do competition, to, to test your, your limits. And if you can do it intelligently and, and live through it, that's terrific. If you can do it with little injury and uh, some honor and do it the next day, even better.